Hey, while you in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. Friday, right? On Good Friday. Let's do the math. So, one day and one night, that takes us to what? Saturday, right? One day and one night, that takes us to Sunday. That's two days. Let's count one more day and one night. That brings us to Monday, right? So where do they get Easter Sunday from? If he died on Friday, last time I checked, if I say on Friday, I'll see you in three days and show up on Sunday, that's only two nights. teaching our people, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, the Israelites, that we're in this condition because we haven't been keeping God's commandments. My brother with the cat, with the caterpillar jacket, with the black hat. Sir. All right. So, we going through hell right now, and we've been searching for answers. Our people constantly searching for answers, and they wondering at the same time why they continuously going through hell. The reason why we are going through hell is because we are not keeping God's commandments. We're not even giving our ear to hear God's commandments. We up here with the answers, and people steady walking by, going with the motions, Hunking a horn, give me Proverbs 21 and 16. And, what, and we keep wondering why we're in a state that we're in today. We keep wondering why we're in a state that we are in today. It's because we are wondering out of the way of understanding. The understanding is right here. Read. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 21, verse 16. Read. The man that wandereth out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. Read it again, because a lot of us like to say we woke. Uh, we, we like to say we woke, that we got understanding of who we truly are. But God says otherwise, read. The man that wanders out of the way of understanding. Because once again, the understanding is the Bible. Knowing that you an Israelite, knowing that you must keep God's commandments, read. Shall remain in the congregation of the dead. So wonder away from this Bible, my brother with the cane. Somebody stop the brother with the cane right here. Tell him to come here and rap with us for a minute. But our people that's wondering out of the way of the Bible, read. The man that wandered out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. Because we're not keeping God's commandments, because we're not trying to give our ear to the Bible, we are going to remain asleep. We're going to remain asleep and in the congregation of the dead. Our people like zombies. Our people like zombies out here going to and fro. We're not keeping God's commandments. We're not in our rightful estate. We're not in our rightful order. My man with the red jacket. Brother, brother with the red jacket. Joe, 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 Officer Joe, stop him real quick. Let me ask you a question. Let me show him that he's a revolutionary. Show him that he's What's your name, brother? Fred. Fred. Like Fred Hampton. Right, like, like our forefather, Fred Hampton. My name is Yekiel. Let me ask you a question, Fred. What is your nationality? Other than black, I don't know. Other than black, I don't know. Give me Isaiah 1 and 3, because you are, in fact, you are a revolutionary. You are a God that's been sent back on this earth to wake up his people so we can fight off this oppression. Not a physical fight, but a spiritual fight. And I want to show you that real quick. You ever heard of the Israelites before? Yeah. Do you know that you're an Israelite? No. No. All right. Let's see. I'm going to show you. Listen up, friend. It's the best information you ever going to hear in your life. All right? Read. 
This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 1, verse 3. Read. The ox knoweth his owner, and the ass his master's crib. But Israel does not know, but my people doth not consider. So, I got some questions for you too, because we ain't gonna just read and me talk all day. So I wanna know what's going on through your mind. So, read that again. Read. The ox knoweth his owner. So it says the ox knoweth his owner. Uh, you know what an ox is, right? It's like a, a bull or cattle. Uh, describe one of their characteristics besides strong. Are they smart animals? Nah, not really. They just strong and stubborn. You stubborn as an ox, right? You probably heard your grandma say that. They just than though. Right, they just strong. Read. And the ass, his master's queer. You know what an ass is, right? A donkey. Donkeys, think about Eeyore from Winnie the Pooh. He are uh, slow, yeah. a slow animal. Mm -hmm. It said an ox know who he belongs to, and a donkey know who he's know where he live at. So we on twenty second in Cermac, right? You could take a donkey all the way, let's say uh, Ashland, and like ninety fifth, right? And a donkey gonna find his way back to twenty second in Cermac. So even though they dumb, they know who they belong to and know who, where they come from. Read. But Israel. But who? But Israel. But who? But Israel. Read. Does not. Do not, do not know. So it says, but Israel, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, us, we don't know. All right, that's how you know that we're the Israelites. We're the only people that don't know where we truly come from. That's right. We think we black, but the color of our pants is black. We think we Negro, and that word comes from necro. Necro just means dead. We think we come from Africa. Well, which part is 54 countries in Africa? Uh, our people think they Mexican. Our people think they Dominican. Our, our people think they Jamaican. And those, those words, they don't mean anything. They're a term, but they don't hold no value. It said our Israel don't know, read. My people do it not consider. And some of our people don't even give a damn, friend. But God said that it happened to the Israelites. And it happened to our people. It said Israel, we the only people on the earth that don't know who we are, and we damn sure don't give a damn about it. God said that it only happened to his people. Now, once again, we the topic is the Israelites, right? Uh, also, let's combine that with revolutionary. Let's combine that with revolutionary. Give me some characteristics of a revolutionary. Someone that takes charge and that leads people, someone that fights for trouble. No. Give me that. I'm sorry, Fred. What else? Someone that fights through struggle, fights through oppression. Hold on, say it loud. Go ahead. Someone that fights through struggle, fights through oppression. Someone that leads a group of people. Someone that, someone that has the wherewithal to know what they want and what the end game is going to be. So they got to have a vision for their people. They visionaries, right? Yep. And they got to stand up for something, right? They got to stand up for something. So let's see. God got a message for us. When I say us, that's you too, Fred. And not just the brothers you see in purple, but all the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Read. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 94, verse 16. Read. Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? Read it again. Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? Read it again. Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? God got a message for us. He actually asked a question. It's a rhetorical question at that. He said, who will rise up for me against the evildoers? That is our job, to stand up against evil. To stand up against evil, read. Or will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity. Do you know what iniquity is, Fred? You don't know what the iniquity is? Let's get iniquity. Say it is iniquity. You know it's Psalms 38, 18. Psalms 38, 18. All praises. Let's get what iniquity is. Because he said, let's st stand up for me for evil. Stand up for me for iniquity. Iniquity 
That's a big word. That's a big word. We don't really use that word every day, right? right. Let's see what iniquity is, Reed. Because, uh, so, right there. my brother, what's your name? Come, come forward. What's your name, sir? Eddie. Eddie, let me ask you a question. What's your nationality, Eddie? Well, I'm, I'm mixed. I'm uh, Puerto, Puerto Rican and Mexican. What about your father? What is your father? Puerto Rican. Puerto Rican. So, Eddie, you will be from the tribe of Ephraim. From, that's what God call you. Because Puerto Rican, the only thing that means in Spanish is Puerto Riches. That's all that means. That's a slur. That's like calling us niggas and spinks and stuff. God calls you Ephraim. Ephraim, he was the head of the northern kingdom of the tribe of Israel. Freddie, your dad is African American, right? So called. You a beach from the tribe of Judah. We are the same people. We Bring supposed to be working together. Y'all understand that? Black and Latino history is the same history. And it comes from out of the Bible. We talking about revolutionary. You heard of the Brown Berets, right? Brown Berets, that's the so-called Puerto Ricans was part of the Brown Berets. We had the Black Panthers. Y'all heard of the Rainbow Coalition? Fred Hampton brought them brothers together. And we are supposed to be brought together, but under this Bible. So we going over who's gonna stand up against the evil doors or the workers of iniquity. You know what the word iniquity means? Not really. Let's see what it means, read. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 38, verse 18. For I would declare my iniquity, I will be sorry for my sin. Read it again and read it slow. For I would declare my iniquity. So King David said he's going to declare his iniquity. Hold on to that word, iniquity, right? I asked what it meant, right? Read. I will be sorry for my sin. He will be sorry for what? My sin. His sin. So iniquity is sin. So when we standing up against the evildoers, we're standing up against the workers of sin. That's right. Let's get what sin is. Y'all following me? Because we because we talk about what a revolutionary is supposed to do. What a real hero is supposed to do. Stand up against evil and stand up against sin. We're gonna get into a sin. Read. This is the book of John, first John chapter 3, verse 4. Whosoever committed sin transgresses also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. Read it again. Whosoever committed sin. So whosoever committed sin or iniquity, read. Transgressions also the law. They break the laws of God. So if I'm in sin, give me a law, Eddie. What's a law from God? What do you mean? Like a commandment. You know any of the Ten Commandments? What about thou shalt not kill? Okay, so if I kill somebody, I'm transgressing that law of thou shalt not kill. If I steal from somebody, I'm transgressing that law of thou shalt not steal. If I'm not keeping the Sabbath holy, because that's part of the Ten Commandments. Now, today is the Sabbath. Did you know that, Fred? No, nah, it's Saturday. Uh, Eddie, did you know that God, his Sabado, that's Saturday, right? Yeah, that means Sabbath in the Bible. Yeah. That's God's Sabbath. So why are we celebrating it, it Sabbath? Sabado is Saturday in Spanish, right? So if Sabado, which is Sabbath, if that's on Saturday, why are we celebrating the Lord on Sunday? That's iniquity. That's evil. That is evil. God says stand up against sin. Let's talk about a big sin tomorrow. What's tomorrow? Bring it up! You said what? What? So... Uh, Eddie, Easter is tomorrow, right? Yeah. Don't a lot of our people celebrate Easter? You celebrate Easter, Fred? Yes, sir. Do you celebrate Easter, Eddie? With my church, yeah. With your church? Do you think God approves of Easter? Yeah. He does? There's res res I can't say that. The resurrection of Christ? Okay, so we understand that part. Uh, I got another question for y'all. Let's do some basic math when it comes to Easter. Because I'm here to tell y'all, celebrating Easter is not in the Bible. That's right. That's what we did. Okay. Now, how long How long was Christ dead and in the ground? Uh, three days, they said. Three days and three nights. Right? Let's get that in Matthew 12 and 40. Let's get that in Matthew 12 and 40. So, that, it does say that in the Bible. 
Christ was dead for three in the ground for three days and three nights. Actually, hold that, hold that page. Give me Habakkuk. Uh, what is it? Two and eighteen about lies. That's Let me get Habakkuk two and eighteen real quick before we get into that, because Easter is a lie. Easter is a lie, and we're going to show you why. We are going to show you why. That is not, Easter was around before Christ came to earth. Yeah, read. Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 18. What prophet the graven image that the maker thereof, that had graven it. Read that again. What prophet the graven image. So God is asking what prophet is the graven image. You know what a graven image is? So a graven image is when somebody makes an image and worship it. Like this guy right here. Don't you see this guy everywhere? They say that's Jesus, right? And you see people bowing down to it, kissing it. One of the Ten Commandments is God don't not follow false idols. Right, or make any graven images and bow to them. Another graven image would be the Easter Bunny. Because that's always a theme going around. You see Easter bunnies or you see an egg, right? Yep. What does the Easter bunny even mean? What does it symbolize? I never knew. What does that have to do with Jesus? Never knew. Never Jesus knew. wasn't no damn silly rabbit. No. He didn't lay eggs either. Right, he didn't lay eggs either. And rabbits don't lay eggs. Right, 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 right. right. So <laughs> when you're doing those things, Easter egg hunts and all of that, God is asking, what is it profit you? Read it again. What profited the graven image? So what profits the Easter egg or the Easter bunny? Read. That the maker thereof have graven it. Read. The molded image. It's because you got some uh, Easter eggs all gold and silver. You paint them. Uh, same thing with the uh, crosses too. Because yeah. crosses don't symbolize God. It don't symbolize Christ. Christ was executed on the cross, but wearing the cross is like wearing an AK-47 around our neck, or wearing a nightstick, or wearing a noose. That's just something he died and got hung on. It don't, it don't profit anything, read. And the teacher of love. And the teacher of what? The teacher of love. And the teacher of what? The teacher of love. You know how on Easter it's a teacher of lies? Cause how the hell do a rabbit lay eggs? Bring it out. Eddie, how do a rabbit, hey sis, how do a rabbit lay eggs? Fred, Fred, come back, come back, come back. Hey, buses run every 15 minutes. How do a, how do a rabbit lay eggs? I'm trying to figure it out. It's the teacher of what? Read. It's the teacher of lies. Read. That the maker of his work trusted the end. Read. To make dumb idols. To make what? To make dumb idol. It's just a dumb idol. All that is what we Easter, because it was around before Christ. But think about the things we celebrate in it. The the rabbits and the eggs and stuff. It's just a dumb idol and a teacher of lies. Once again, you said Christ was dead and how in the ground for how long? Three days and three nights, right? So they said Good Friday was the day Christ died on, right? Let's, so, we, let's go to the scripture real quick. Read it for me. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 12, verse 40. Because Christ was dead and in the ground for three days. The scripture said, read. For as Jonas was three days and three nights in the whale's belly, so shall the son of man be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. Read that again. For as Jonas was three days and three nights in the whale's belly. So the bot, so the scriptures before Christ came, there were prophecies on what was going to happen to Christ. Eddie, follow me, follow me, Eddie. So when you read the Old Testament, it's speaking about Christ in the Old Testament too, because it said for as Jonas, Jonas is Jonah. Jonah's in the Old Testament, right? You remember Jonah and the great fish? Read it again. For as Jonas was three days and three nights in the whale's belly. So Jonah being in a whale's belly for three days and three nights was a symbolization of what? Read. So shall the Son of Man be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. So shall Christ be in a grave three days and three nights. So let's do some basic math. We both know addition, right? 
So let's count. Front, they say Christ died on Friday, right? On Good Friday. Let's do the math. So one day and one night, that takes us to what? Saturday, right? One day and one night, that takes us to Sunday. That's two days. Let's count one more day and one night. That brings us to Monday, right? So where do they get Easter Sunday from? If he died on Friday, last time I checked, if I say on Friday, I'll see you in three days and show up on Sunday, that's only two nights. You hear me, sis? Sis with the black jacket. We trying to do some basic math here. Christ, we read in the Bible, he was dead in the ground three days and three nights, right? So how is tomorrow Easter? How is tomorrow Easter, Eddie? Yeah. Huh? Three days and three nights. I know how to count. I'm a grown man. I know you know how to count. Nah. Come rap with us. No, so we let's figure let's work together and figure this out. Eddie, can you answer that for me? Three days and three nights from Friday gives us when. You said what? What you guys are saying that is it's different. Okay, so how is it so let's go by your map. If I listen, if I if I died on Friday, I'm asking you. If I died on Friday and I'm in the ground for three days and three nights, what day should I have risen on? No, no, look, uh, do you, you understand that, right? Because it's three days and three nights. All we're doing is reading the Bible. So where does Easter come from? Where does it truly come from? Hey, can one of y'all uh, pick uh, look up Asheroth on your phone, please? Uh, I got yep. go. No, Asheroth. And that's what we says. Let me ask you a question. So we believe in Christ. We Israel united in Christ. We believe Christ is our Lord and Savior. You believe in Christ? Amen. 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 So what's tomorrow? Easter Resurrection. Sunday. Easter Resurrection Sunday. Uh, you completed any school, any level of school? Yeah. Of uh, high school. Yeah. College. I've got there. You got in there. So you know basic addition, right? Yeah. I'm, I'm not being funny. I'm being dead serious. So Christ died when? Allegedly. Good Friday, right? Right. Good Friday. How long was he in the ground for? Three days and three nights. Three days and three nights. What's your name, sis? Crystal. Open up. Crystal. So let's add together. Me and you. My name is Yekiel. That's my real name. So let's add three days and three nights, right? Start from Friday. Let's one day. What day do we end up with? Saturday, right? Friday. Two days. Where do we end up with? Friday. Sunday, right? Friday. Three days. Where do we end up with? Somewhere around like night Sunday. No, 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 no. Okay. You can't sis. Okay. Yeah. You, it's addition. That don't change over time. Don't argue with the Bible, though. Right. The Bible didn't say, the Bible said he is in the ground three days and three nights. Right. It didn't say he died on Friday. Right. right. So I'm not arguing with the Bible, but Christianity is arguing with the Bible. That's right. Just let them follow Jesus. That's all They're not, but you're not following Jesus if you celebrating Easter. That's right. Easter was around before Christ. Bring it up. It is a pagan holiday. And we're trying to save our people. Give me Matthew, we closing up. Like I said before, we out here to teach our people that we are the Israelites. We must keep God's commandments. Brothers, play your role. Sisters, play your role. Stop wearing each other clothes. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation 
nation is you. And fire! 